And of course, we got into the comet uh, uh, crisis. Yeah, yeah talk about 12, that and, and the, the torrid meteor stream and uh, you know those because there is some there is some sound science there as well too. Um, talk, talk about that a little bit and what he was kind of asserting that a you know a cataclysm via comet uh, could happen at some point soon, which you know in all fairness we really don't really don't know what the hell is going on out there. I mean, we think we do, but, <laughs> but you know. Well, I don't even know if we think we do. I mean, I, I think we could be hit by uh, comet strikes. Look look at what happened out in Russia. So yeah, uh, uh, I think that's not an impossibility for sure, nor a meteorite, large meteorite impact. How, however, um, I've got, I, I had a very interesting conversation with Graham recently and he said hey why don't, why don't you go read this book uh, on uh, that was written by Powell and so I grabbed a copy of that book and started to read it and I'm, I'm just looking trying to find the title here uh, it's uh, it just came out uh, this year it's called a Deadly Voyager and I got that book and I read it and it's changed my mind completely on on a comet strike 12,900 years ago. Uh, at the time that I went on the Joe Rogan show, the articles that I was reading had, uh, had given some fairly interesting uh, evidence to suggest that the layer uh, that was supposedly laid down by comets striking our atmosphere uh, that, it, that it didn't exist uh, uh, they couldn't reproduce the original results well I think that uh, Paul has shown uh, after putting all of this evidence together that not only are they finding platinum increases very at a very sharp boundary in many many sites not only here in North America, but also in Europe and in South America on four continents. So, so there, there, there's a lot of evidence. But you know, platinum is a is an element. It's it's uh, enriched in in uh, meteorites and sometimes comets. Now, one of the problems back then was that also that there wasn't uh, uh, any evidence for a comma striking the planet you would expect even from a comet which is made primarily of uh, predominantly of ice you would expect a crater to form uh, but no one was finding a crater since that time there has been a crater found it's called Hiawatha crater it's below the Greenland ice sheet but there's some dubious dating on it we we only know that it could be as old as 13,000 years but it could be very young too so we don't need, though, as it turns out, uh, that crater, because the things we find at this boundary layer, uh, like uh, nano diamonds, which formed under high pressure, lots of carbon from forest fires, and these iron spherules, all of those uh, could have been uh, formed in these air bursts, uh, multiple air bursts from uh, uh, comet strikes. Probably from the Toriad shower, uh, one scientist has looked at that and and shown some evidence that uh, we could have gotten a, a shower, a huge shower of these large comets coming in uh, from from there. So it it now looks uh, very good, in my opinion, from a scientific view. Kind, I would say even the evidence is overwhelming that uh, that there was a air burst. And that uh, it deposited these nano diamonds, and not just nano diamonds, but nano diamonds that form under high pressure. It fo formed all these other things. There's no shocked minerals there, which we'd expect in a crater if a crater was formed uh, from a meteorite or uh, even if a comma struck. But because probably they didn't strike the Earth and send up material. Uh, that's probably why we're not seeing shock quartz. But three years ago in 2017, when we first started talking about this, I was totally um, una unaware uh, that the shock the shock minerals weren't a prerequisite or good evidence for an impact, not an impact, but an air burst like this. And uh, subsequently realized that, yeah, we could have all these other things without having the shock minerals. 
like I don't know if you're familiar with the Cretaceous tertiary boundary, but at that boundary, uh, there's a, a deposit uh, full of the ash deposit. It's just full of shocked quartz and other high pressure temperature minerals that form when the meteorite struck the earth. So I, I hope that's kind of a general summary of, I think, where science is right now. Yeah, How does safe, this is it safe to say that you've kind of warmed up to, to Hancock there? On I have definitely warmed up to the comet hypothesis. Now, uh, Graham and I have had some discussions in email, and I think we, we both agree that, that this does not um, – does not tell us anything about a lost civilization. The only thing right. it tells us is that we could have lost Clovis at that time. 